All right, welcome back everybody. Anybody that's new here, thanks for joining me today. Obviously, from the title in the description, it's gonna be a quick little review. I wanna keep this very short about the Costa black fins. Um, Costa, Costa, whatever you wanna say. But these guys, these are my new favorite sight fishing glasses. I, like I'm sure many of you people, have tried millions of pairs on. Uh, I've had everything from Oakley's to, uh, what was it, Ray-Bans. Um, I've tried cheap ones. I've actually had a lot of really good pairs of cheap glasses. Um, but in the springtime and in the fall, when fish are shallow, like super shallow, I like sight fishing. Uh, a lot of you guys, if you don't take advantage of that, you should probably start. But these guys, these, uh, these black fins, these are my new favorite uh, sight fishing glasses. I'm just going to go over a couple key points. Keep this short. Like I said, it's really simple. Um, some benefits. And then obviously you guys can buy these. I'll have them linked in the description below. That helps out the channel. Um, but you guys, if, you, if you're if you like a sight fisherman or you like you bed fish, if you're bass fishing, you like uh, short, you know, bed fishing and stuff like that. Or I mean pan fishing. I use these all spring. Uh, for sight fishing crappie with jerk baits. Uh, if you guys want to check out those videos, if you go fishing a lot, um, I'll have them listed at the end of this video for you. Um, but so far, these are probably the best glasses I've ever owned. Uh, the time will tell, you know, the test of time will tell. But let me go over a couple key features and then uh, I'll let you guys get on your way. Okay, so like I said, I'm just going to go over a couple key features. This is so if you go through my link in the description and you buy them, uh, this should be exactly what you get. So uh, these are the black fin. So you can see it there. They're the black fin uh, 580Gs. So these are actually a glass frame. So they're kind of heavy. Just, well, that might be a. So th this could be pros and cons, but these are kind of heavy, but I like uh, how solid they are. Uh, the glass tends to be a lot less or a lot more scratch resistant, I guess you would say. But you get a case with them, which is just a, it's a simple zipper case. It's like a semi hard, like it's not a heavy, like heavy, heavy duty case, but it's a it's a decent zipper case. And then they send you this nice cleaning towel for the lenses, which is nice because I mean I use it use it often and keep them keep them spotless. And that's a big thing you want to keep your glasses clean. Okay, so like I said, just a couple key features. So like two of them, like I said, simple comes in a nice case, uh, comes with a cleaning cloth, and then you know these are these are what you're getting. Um, I don't know if like description wise, like if I put them on my face. So like you you know if you guys are looking to order I have to put them on so I physically went into a bunch of stores until I found these but like you can see there's very little gap here but I have a fat head <laughs> just so you guys understand I have a pretty fat head um even when I'm super skinny this part of my head is still fairly thick uh but I like my glasses sitting very tight like this so there's no gap here there's no gap here uh there's no gaps right in here um that is my biggest plus I like about these is they do not let any stray sunlight in uh, to reflect off the inside of the glasses into your eyes. So that was like a bit big pet peeve of mine of a lot of the different ones that I've wore. Um, they don't they didn't fit my face enough. I know there's a lot of people that like wear the stylish stuff and all that stuff. I bought these for one function only. They stay in this case unless I'm fishing. Uh, otherwise, they don't come out. <laughs> they are way too expensive for me to play around with them. I have cheap glasses still. I have like spares laying everywhere. Uh, I've got so many five and ten dollar glasses. I probably this is a sad thing. This is why I'm showing you guys this. I've bought probably enough that I could have bought these sooner, and I would have been very happy. But I guess I have spares now, but hopefully I never break these ones. But the big things, uh, something that you guys might also want to be interested in is this around the edges here. It feels smooth right now, but when it was kind of sunny out the other day, like hot and sunny, it was kind of sticky. Like, you know, like it's it, 
it's kind of meant, I think, to keep it from sliding off your head, basically, which is kind of nice. You don't have to wear the, the straps, but, you know, with how expensive they are, I would probably recommend buying yourself some of those uh, behind the head straps if you are a bass boat guy or if you like flying around the lake and stuff like that. I would highly suggest that just in case. But otherwise, comfort wise, um, they, they fit, like I said, nice on my face. The nose piece so far is, you know, pretty nice and smooth. It doesn't bother me. Uh, I have like sensitive, I'm sensitive, okay guys? I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> so I'm basically sensitive to a bunch of stupid stuff, light sensitivity and all that. So I have to have a pair of glasses that work good for me. But I know just a, cut down on search time for a lot of people uh anybody that's looking the so far the lens itself does exactly what it needs to do um i got the uh i think these are the blue lenses i'm colorblind by the way uh that's either blue or purple comment below what what color is that so if i block that back here the reflectiveness of it if it's blue or purple <laughs> um i'm pretty sure they're blue lenses but it's the 580g uh, I know that because it says 580 right on it, but uh, as far as the glass lens goes, I could see through dirty stained water pretty good. So that's a, that was my most impressive fact for uh, when I was crappie fishing this spring, is I'm able to see, like they cut 100% of the glare. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice if you're driving a vehicle or something and you throw these on, everything emits some kind of glare. So like even trees have a little bit of a shine to them and you're going to put these on and it's going to freak you out because everything's going to be suddenly just a little bit more clear, even if it's a tree. So that's, that's just so you guys understand when you buy these, that's how sensitive they are. Um, there is a reasoning. So like blue is usually like for clear, deep waters. Um, and then usually you would buy the green lens, um, I will link both of them below. I believe you can choose the, the different lenses from the one link. Uh, we'll see after I link it, but the two different lenses, the green is usually for like us shallow guys and fresh water. And then the blue is usually for the deep. But I found out a long time ago that you can use this as both of them. So that's why you get this lens instead of just the green one. Cause the green one, uh, I believe kind of cuts out once you get over like five, six feet of water. These should allow me to see down uh, like eight to 10 feet of water. And I know a lot of places where like smallmouth and largemouth and even bluegills and crappies spawn in like 10 to 15 feet of water. And I'm hoping these do the exact thing that I need them to. But so far, the, my main review thing, like I said, I wanted to keep this quick and short for you guys. These are like a, a plus plus. Uh, I will let you guys know, or if you guys in the future hear anything bad about them, I'm being truthful. Like, I'm not affiliated by them. I'm just letting you guys know to try and help you guys out before the season gets started here. Uh, these are a great investment. Uh, they are expensive, but they're, my, they're an investment. So take care of them. Clean them off. Put them away. Don't let them lay around. <laughs> just trying to help you guys out. All right, guys. So... As you guys see, they fit. I like them. They're comfortable. Uh, I thought the glass being heavier would be, you know, uncomfortable, but they're not. And I'm getting used to them. And the best thing about it is I can see through the water now. So I can sight fish a lot of fish. And that is really, really fun. It's just something better. Like, fishing's awesome, whether you're catching fish or not. But when you can see the fish, like when there's a monster sitting down there, and you can sight fish them, it's a blast. So... Get yourself some if you uh, you know feel like you want to do some sight fishing. If you're new to it and you've never bought a really nice pair of glasses, I'm going to say don't buy these right away. If you've never used a pair of sight fishing glasses, go buy yourself a cheap pair first. Do that. And then if you kind of like the idea of being able to see through the water, these would be your next step up. Uh, this isn't like a first time buyer type thing. Do not buy these if you've just never had nice pairs of glasses. Unless you got some money burning a hole in your pocket and you want to buy some nice glasses. In that case, I will back the fact that I'm not your daddy or your mama. Buy your own glasses. But hopefully today's little review video helps some of you guys out. Spend a little less time. I went to like 15, 20 stores before I actually found some of these to try on. Um, and then I had to find them online and order them. Uh... So yeah, there's that. And then uh, my link online should actually be cheaper than most in-store places. So there's that. Hopefully I save you guys a few pennies, a little bit of legwork, but 
Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. If you are new, can you please just remember to? Oh.